So, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time to talk to you about the 3D experience in action. The 3D experience in action just happened a few days ago, um, and it was, it was in Germany. So what you see here are a few slides of a big event that happens every year in Germany called the Hanover Messe. So 10 days ago, a little bit more than 220,000 professionals, experts, engineers, people like you, business decision makers, technical decision makers, came together to look at all the latest innovations, all the latest technologies happening in the world of uh, technologies in high tech, in automotive industries, in manufacturing. And you see a few, few pictures there. So why the so system was there? And why did we show a few things that were pretty new? We showed this little thing in the middle that you see very clearly uh, right, right there, which is a washing machine. It's a washing machine, a brand new washing machine that was invented, created by Miller from, from Germany. And you see that this washing machine is real. It's not virtual. But it's sitting on top of the compass where you see that you have the, the 3D and the virtual and real coming together. And this picture illustrates perfectly what we want to achieve with the 3D experience platform. Create a universe that is going to allow all the disciplines of a company to come together and create true end-to-end -end experience. So when you look at a washing machine, you say, what kind of experience are you talking about? A washing machine is a washing machine. Actually, it's more complex than that. Those of you in the room who know a little bit more about this domain of white goods and appliances will say that this is as difficult and as complex as doing special, uh, special projects for the aeronautic and space, space and defense domains. So what you see here are actually the few pictures taken on the booth of uh, Dassault System where you, we showed a few things. We showed idea generations, what we do with the 3D experience platform to help people invent and imagine. Then the styling and design, then the development process, then the systems engineering. What can you do in the age of IoT if you are not thinking in terms of systems engineering? Then the test of software, because more and more, an experience will be made possible thanks to software. So if you do PLM without software management, you are missing a big piece of the story, and the 3D experience is here to help you. And then it's all about making sure that you can configure that, that you can service the product. But the best way for you to um, get a sense of what we mean by that is to show you a quick, uh, a quick demo. Uh, so we are going to launch um, the video, please. So we are going to go through the full process of creating an end-to-end -end experience. The first thing is first and foremost to think about this product. Why and how are we going to, going to create this product? The first thing is to look around, look at the technologies, look at what you have done in the past, look at your competitors, look at what customers say, look at what influencers say, look at what journalists say. So all your eyes, all your ears are wide open and you collect information. You start to think, you start to invent, you start to imagine, you start to collaborate. Then time comes to start to realize this vision. You start to say, I need to put some image I need to put some picture. I need to come to a stage where more people than myself will understand what I mean. And this is where the industrial designers are extremely important. So here they are in the 3D experience platform. Jean is a designer, he's actually a true designer from Dassault System, an industrial designer. And here he's sketching on the go, on a tablet, on mobile, uh, thanks to the cloud. He's on Katia Natural Sketch, and he starts to create the first shapes of this future product. But very quickly, the designer needs to get together with a mechanical engineer. And together, side by side, they are going to start to iterate and imagine this future product. But it's not enough, because two guys in an office can do a lot of job, a lot of work, but they need to embark more people with them. They need to embark marketing people. They need to embark manufacturing people. They need to embark procurement people, designer, marketing, all the people who are going to work with them in the innovation process. So here, they collaborate in the cloud, 
they are not on-premise anymore, they are in the cloud, and they start to come together and refine the color, the shapes, the trims, uh, the material, the texture of this future product. And step by step, in a few hours or in a few days or in a few weeks, they converge to the final product that they want to engineer. And this is where the interesting second part of the story becomes, starts, which is the engineering phase. So you start with requirements. These requirements in this case are to create a machine that will be extremely silent, extremely silent. So one key requirement that is going to be managed in Enovia here, for example, will be a requirement with a specification for a noise control system that will be perfect. So we are going to define the product as a system in Katia functional and logical design, and we are going to inherit automatically from Enovia all the specifications that we defined before. And as you see on the left, we are going to describe the functional, logical, and physical aspects of this product. And as you can see here, the system engineer defines very precisely this control unit that is going to be used to control perfectly the vibration system. So you have a perfect integration and collaboration between program management and system and engineering. But to do the control unit, you need electronics. But the electronics happens in a third-party software. Here we are in Cadence, Allegro, so you are not in a Dassault system world, but you need to make sure that people who work in this world of electronics can still connect with all the other disciplines. And here you see a back and forth synchronization between Cadence Allegro for the electronics uh, definition and PCB definition and the 3D experience platform in Enovia that is going to inherit automatically all of this information that is going then to be captured in Katia for the circuit board design. So then you can start to continue to simulate your product and you are here again in the mechanical system design. And here the laws of physics are going to apply again but the beauty, the beauty of that, and we are the only one in the market to do that, is that we are going to reconcile in the same model the mechanical aspects of this product and the systems definition of this product. And as a result, you can simulate here in CATIA, CATIA system, the perfect functioning of this machine and check if the, vibra if the vibration is okay. And in this case, the mechanical engineers and the system engineers want to do a full washing cycle and full drying cycle with the system definition, the mechanical definition, and behavioral definition of the product, real time, with one single version of the truth. The beauty is that you can go even one step further and simulate the plastic ring that is around uh, the door to make sure that what you have desi designed and invented here will not uh, be torn apart and will not be destroyed later on. So then you can move to the next phase of manufacturing this product. And in manufacturing, you don't build from scratch. You reuse existing capabilities, existing manufacturing plants. So here we are in Delmia, still in the 3D experience platform, and we are going to change slightly the manufacturing chain of an existing washing machine. We are just going to add this control unit, this electronic control unit that we just talked about. And look at the top, we manage all the resources. Look at the bottom, we manage all the 3D models of this product. We can manage all the instructions for the people to mount and build this machine from the get-go. We also want to monitor real-time around the world how the production is going. Is there a defect? Is there a problem? How do you connect to your MES system to have a full 360-degree view of your capacity to produce on time, on volume, on quality, and on cost? But as Monica said, an experience is more than mechanical, electrical, and uh, software. It's also about, in this case, chemical product. You want to put some product in your machine that will not destroy the machine. So you want to do chemical formulation of washing powder and detergent. And here, we are showing the capacity of our software in Biovia that is called an electronic lab notebook, where all the people from the chemical world are going to innovate, work collaboratively, and still connect with the rest of the disciplines working on this machine. So here the chemical engineers are working on the formulation of a product, start to gather all the information they need, 
straight back and forth from the 3D experience and will keep their job perfectly intact and connected with the rest of the disciplines. So the machine is almost ready. Now is the time to prepare the launch of the machine. You need to train people who will install the machine, who will maintain the machine, who will repair the machine, perhaps also the end user. So you want to take all the digital model that you have and make it simpler. But you also want to create sales and marketing material to make sure that your own sales force can go sell and promote this future machine, this future product, before it gets launched. Because you want to have an experience of purchase, an experience of sales, an experience of the first relationship with the product that will be fantastic. So here again, we are in the 3D experience platform, and with the same digital model, we can prepare all the marketing material, all the digital assets, all the products that you can sell concurrently with your uh, core product. You can do that with services. You can do that with marketing material. You can bring all of that on a tablet. You can export all of this information straight from the 3D experience platform and move it to mobile, to mobile devices and mobile tablets to make sure that everybody gets connected to the full picture real time. And now the last phase is really about the launch. So you need to promote, you need to do advertising, you need to do posters. I told you that it was almost as complex as uh, rocket science to do washing machine, and here we have a perfect example of that. And you have also the possibility of taking straight again from, from uh, the 3D experience platform all the data, all the CAD information, all the variants, all the configuration, and generate automatically these gorgeous, gorgeous videos Look at that. This is not film. This is coming straight from the 3D experience platform, straight generated by the 3D Excite technologies that we acquired last year ago. So thanks again. I hope that you start to have a, a more complete view of what we mean by experience. We look forward extending the platform to uh, more industries and more domains, and we love working with you on this future generation of products and experiences. Thanks a lot. Have a great afternoon.